does this feel pretty comfortable? The, the temperature, the daylight, obviously, <laughs> how late it can stay light out. This is, this is all feels normal to you? Not normal yet, but I, I really enjoy it. Uh, well, actually, this last couple of days, and I guess this coming days, it's going to be Nashville heat almost. So it's it's, but it's nice. We like it, um, but also like how it can get cooler during the night, so the the air stays fresh and um, the daylight is no problem. Usually, when my, we go up to my wife's uh, parents, it's the same thing. It's the twenty four seven daylight, so um, we kind of enjoy it. It's it's what it is. We have good blinds on our windows, so kids can sleep and all that, but. Uh, without it, it would be uh, a tough time. Uh, and I know, I know you mentioned it when you were talking to the, to the winners here, but do, do you watch the, the playoffs or any hockey once you're eliminated? Uh, it's, it's more it's kind of on at home because my son likes to watch it, but um, I, I have a tough time doing it just because it's, it's what it is. I'm, I'm a bit of a sore loser, but um, it's, it's on, and, and I, under, I check the scores and I see who's winning, but um, nothing more than that. Now that you're outside of the grind of the season, have you been able to see more of the city of Edmonton and what have your your have you learned anything more about the city? Yeah, yeah, we've been around a little bit, been to a couple of splash parks with the kids, and I think it seems to be the way to go here when you have kids. There's, um, I guess, less lakes or water around where you can swim, so we've been around a little bit like that. But other than that, just trying to get our house together, and, and kids have been in school still, so um, we're chipping away. But it's been it's been great. How would you kind of describe putting down roots in a city like Edmonton? I know you're staying in Edmonton this summer, and I know the home was a big kind of thing on the top of your list to do. How would you kind of describe how it's been adjusting to Edmonton? It's gone quick. Um, it's it's been great. We we have a house that we really like, and then a good community, good neighborhood, and and as I said, our my son plays soccer on the on the like community league team, so. Um, we're getting into the more of the Canadian way of doing things with, with both ourselves and the kids. So um, for us, it's been great. We know that start of next year, we will be ready and settled and everything will be just ready to go. So that's the big pro of staying here in the summer. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, I can't say anything more about it. We, we will move back to Sweden when it's all said and done. So to come here um, and kind of, uh, adjust the kids to know that there is snow out there and there is where we're going to settle at, at least. So um, for us, it's been a really good uh, adjustment so far. And you're currently gearing up for, I believe, your third child. Mm -hmm. What's that like and how soon and have you kind of got that whole process settled for you right now? Uh, I don't know if you ever get ready for it. I don't think I was with the first or the second either, but you kind of go with it. We at least it's a little bit easier when you get the third you have some clothes you have a stroller you have the car seats you have all that stuff so it's more a matter of getting uh, uh, figuring out how the outnumbered situation is going to be like and, and how you solve it to the best of your capability but uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out. How so, much are the uh, older kids looking forward to being able to welcome in anyone? Anyway? Yeah I, th I think they're getting more into it now where, where the belly's getting so big that they understand someone's coming out of there so um, we'll see. It's, um, they can be pretty feisty with each other right now, but uh, I'm sure they'll be great uh, siblings. When did the eye clear up? What's that? When did the eye clear up? How long did that take? Uh, it was like, I still red, but it's, it's better now, obviously. It's not as swollen and uh, blue, obviously, so it took a couple weeks at least. It was, uh, it was what it was. So you're going to have uh, some kids that are American citizens, you're mm -hmm. and then Canadian. Mm -hmm. you we'll have. still get the Swedish citizenship. Yeah, well. yeah. <laughs> so it'll be full on dual passports on all three of them. And uh, it's good, though. It, it's good for them in the future. You never know. I mean, even when you're living in Sweden, they know that they have the possibility of going back if they want to go college or whatever they want to do back here. So uh, at least we have some options open for them. Outside of the weather, what's been the biggest adjustment going from Nashville to Edmonton? Just a matter of moving when you've been in the same place for a long time, uh, packing up a house. I mean, I can't speak enough of what my wife has done. My in-laws was over, and everyone's just been chipping away. But it's been, it's still, we haven't been able to sell either our cars or our houses back home. And uh, it's just, it's a process, and you don't even think about it because when you're in the hockey season, you don't have any time at all to, to even think about it. So you just put it on hold. and. Now is the time to, to, to deal with that kind of stuff. So it's that whole move and, and getting the kids into new school and all that is, has probably been the biggest challenge.